Hello guys and welcome to my Fallout 4 mod spotlight video where we'll be taking a look at the mod configuration menu today, also known as the MCM menu. Uh, it's a menu where you can manage all the mods you install for your game and it's another essential mod I would recommend that you actually get for your, your game. In any case, let me show off what it actually does before you guys go crazy. So when you download the mod, uh, you get uh, the actual option in the menu here. Uh, so you can just go ahead and click it and in here you should see all the different mods that has a compatibility things going for the MCM menu. Um, the reason why this one exists is because in the past people used to use the chemical uh, chemistry station here to actually go ahead and, and make items and such for and options for the actual um, mods. You know, you know when you have an item and uh, they put an effect on the item and then you activate the item and then you go ahead and change stuff. That is still a thing today because a lot of those mods never really got updated to use the MCM menu. But all of the modern mods pretty much use the MCM menu and for good reason. As you can see here, if I click on the photo mode, because I have a photo mode mod. Um, here you can clearly see that uh, I get the options and I even get the option to get another photo mode. Uh, same thing with other settings if you have them. It changes the position in the main menu, like what row it, it gets on here. That's, that's the mod itself by the way. And uh, it's a bit sad, I, I should probably have covered this later, but pretty much uh, all your mods that are compatible with this stacks on the left side here. And you can turn off and on different things with each mod. So before you actually start playing the game, you should always have a look in the MCM menu, see if there's a mod that you can adjust things for. And uh, if there is an issue you encounter, then head back into the MCM settings and see if you can actually change it. Not the MCM settings, the MCM menu. And then go ahead and see if you can't change everything inside that menu. Uh, this is another quick one, uh, but it's pretty much necessary for me to kind of just cover them little by little and, and mud by mud. I don't really want to, again, draw out the videos, and uh, I just kind of want to go straight to the point on uh, whether or not I would 100% recommend this or whether it's essential or whatever, but uh, this is definitely a mod I always install. Whether or not you want it is technically up to you. A lot of them must probably still have items that you can have in here, uh, but it's something I would definitely recommend you get if you plan on modding your game further. If you don't plan on modding your game, um, then the Fallout 4 uh, patch, uh, unofficial patch, and the and the this one pretty much, um, or just the unofficial patch technically, is probably just enough for you if you don't plan on modding the mod uh, the game at all. Um, but but yeah, a very useful thing, and I would highly recommend getting the mod configuration menu. Uh, it's also made by Registrator 2000, and yes, I'm still new to this, so I need to say the name in the beginning, but. Thank you, Registrator2000. Just saying, I always use this. So, a uh, very useful tool. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I will leave the mod in the description below in case you guys want to try it out for you when you mod the game. Uh, they have more pictures in there of different menus in the mod configura configuration menu in case you want to see how it looks like when you have a lot of mods installed. But it pretty much looks the same, just more rows and then more settings depending on the mod. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope to see you guys in another one of my spotlights. Otherwise, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Uh, consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. And as always, stay awesome.